Hello friends, Shalom. Greetings to all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's indeed my joy and privilege to be present before you even in this wonderful day. And this is such an amazing day when people of the entire world are celebrating the victorious ascension of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to the throne of glory. As my beloved children of God, he is no longer in the grave, but he is ruling heaven and earth with full of glory, power and authority being seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. He has authority over life. He has authority over death. All the authority has been granted to him. As my beloved children of God, he is the ruler and owner of this world. And I just want to tell you what a privileged, uh, what a blessed uh, generation of believers we are because we have such an amazing privilege to know him as our Abba, my father, as our Abba father. Hallelujah. So the things that I just want to share with you this day, maybe I believe that this will be useful to you. So yesterday also, I was uh, reading something about King Alexander the Great. So we know this king as the one who has conquered many territories of the world. He gathered enormous wealth. He gathered lot of diamonds, pearls and lot of other stuff and all. But before his death, you know, he had three last wishes, which I just want to share with you this day. So the first wish of him was, when I die, let my body be carried by my physician all the way to my home. The second wish was that, when you carry my body to the graveyard, shatter all the wealth that I earned. That is, uh, just take the gold, diamond, all the money, everything that I earned, that I conquered or looted, whatever. Just take all the money and just uh, throw it all the way to my coffin, you know, throw it on the street. And third wish was, when you bury me, let my hand be outside my coffin. Do not bury my hand. But let my hand be outside. So these were the three last wishes of Alexander. When his followers or maybe his uh, soldiers were keen to know why king wants to do this thing. He explained to them. He said that let my physician carry my body all the way to my home. So that the people of the world might know that king Alexander had the best physician in the world. But this physician could not deal with death. This physician had all the medicine to cure several diseases. But when it comes to death, even this guy failed. And second thing which King Alexander the Great said does that throw all the wealth of mine across the street all the way to my graveyard so that the people of the world may know that all my life I fought against many nations, conquered lot of wealth, gathered enormous uh, money, name, fame, riches. But now as I'm dying, you know, I cannot take even a penny with me. So I have wasted all my life gathering these things. And third thing which Alexander the Great told was, bury my hand outside the coffin you know why so that the people of the world might know that this person who was a conqueror who achieved great name fame everything he could not save his own soul he could not save his own life but even he has to bow before death as my beloved children of god death is such a powerful thing and death is sometimes such a cruel thing you know Death does not spare the most talented person in this entire earth. Death never spares even the richest people. Death never spares even the most powerful people like King Alexander the Great and many other examples we know. But this day also I just want to tell you we have a king 
was even one over the angel of death hallelujah can i get an amen for that we have a king who has uh, dealt with death he was buried he was crucified he was rejected by all of his own people but now he is no longer in the grave but he has ascended to the throne of glory victoriously and this victory he has won for you and me we have such an amazing father we have such an amazing king so even this day also i just want to tell you that you are no longer a failure you are no longer a person under the bondage or the captivity of demon you are no longer a person under the captivity of addiction you are no longer a person under the captivity of something called misfortune bad luck i just want to tell you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every demon and every devil of hell has to tremble before the name of jesus christ of nazareth all the dark forces just has to submit and i just want to tell you being the servant of god that surely there's a hope and a future for you and your hope will not be cut off because your father has dealt with the angel of death and he has defeated the angel of death hallelujah we have this hope so i just want to tell you this day that may god bless you and may god give you success in all the areas of your life thank you god bless you happy resurrection day kindly share this video maybe this may prove useful to some people thank you take care this is your friend in christ pradeep samuel see you bye